Hey everybody, uh, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, today is uh, not a good day to commemorate this, but it's September 11th, 2012. Um, regardless of the date, uh, I just wanted to show you that uh, I'm making some really good progress with the uh, models uh, that I'm building. Uh, what you're looking at right now is the uh, membership uh, section for my quant labs.net premium members. I've just posted two new postings today. Um, and essentially what they are are uh, building blocks that uh, will help myself as well as um, my members uh, move forward with uh, the different types of models um, that I'm planning to use, including obviously our, our, our Rima, which I'll, I'll show you in a minute, as well as Garch and a few others, uh, Moving Average, as well as Paris Trading. Uh, so this is an important set of uh, content I'm about to show you uh, for the basics if you're fairly new or uh, need to brush up on your math side. Um, it's it, like I, f I found a, a bunch of um, uh, different types of uh, resources online that I'm introducing to my members and, and I got it pretty quickly and I'm hoping uh, the same thing for my uh, my uh, members will be able to uh, have the same success with. So uh, the first one is, uh, the first uh, 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 posting is, um, it's basically a checklist of uh, just general forecasting, obviously using for time series analysis and uh, different types of uh, models that can be applied to this. Uh, in this case, I'm using the, what I would understand is a very a basic type of forecasting, Holt Winters. Um, for a time series analysis. Uh, now, when I say time series, I'm referring to bars or uh, ticks that you get from your data provider. Um, obviously, the cleaner, the better, the more accurate, the more uh, more data you have, the better. Um, so here, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be taught I, I, in this posting. I, I have a let me just show you how everything works. What we generally have is we have an R file um, because obviously I've moved into R. Um, and uh, it, it's associated with this uh, posting, as well as I have a, a, a video. Um, and uh, this cannot be found on YouTube anywhere. Uh, there's a full screen mode, so you can get better detail of it. And I have them both uh, postings as well. This, this, this type of video is posted throughout my membership. So anyways, um, what I do here is I talk about, in this video, uh, ACF uh, for correlation, um, autocorrelation, uh, SSE, uh, standard, uh, some of uh, standard errors, alpha, beta, uh, gamma. This is used throughout um, a lot of the hedge fund guys um, a, and analysis use these uh, beta, or sorry, these uh, Greek symbols or parameters or results, whatever you want to call them, uh, to, to measure uh, the strength of a particular time series, but this this is what it's referring to, and obviously I go through that, and and there's different types of um, tests as well for metrics. Uh, one's uh, the Leung box test, as well as um, what we try to do with these time series is try to detrend and decompose it if if, if we have to. Um, so that's in the first uh, uh, model type. Uh, obviously I'm using whole winters. Um, and uh, there's a bunch of plots that are used. Uh, it's very powerful. Again, it's all done in R, and there is an R script that can be downloaded for this. And um, and this is just using very simple uh, math or time series, and it's not very difficult to pick up. Um, again, uh, this is all free for uh, obviously members because R is an open source uh, language. Now we come to our other. Um, model type. Obviously, I just uh, briefly talked about whole winters, but the Arima, which I've been focusing on the last couple of weeks, which is uh, probably one of the more popular uh, model uh, forecasting methodologies to, to do uh, forecasting on a, a time series. Um, you know, you need to uh, do things like, uh, let me just pull that up. Uh, again, you have a video, you have the, the R script for this, um, but when it comes to the world of uh, uh, Arima, uh, or ARMA as well um, against your, your your time series. You can you can forecast based on it. Um, you need to make sure that your uh, time series is stationary. Uh, if not, you need to differentiate it using R. Um, I try to give a brief uh, description of, of the um, set of parameters 
uh, for Arima, you, you know, obviously the PDQ, uh, and um, obviously through that you need to uh, choose which Arma model um, that you want to use. So again, this is all part of the um, uh, modeling, uh, and this is the first one that I actually put to use in my own R script, and uh, I'm about to apply this against uh, my own time series that I do generate. Um, I do show how that, that is generated through uh, different YouTube videos that I have on my YouTube channel. I'll let you seek those out. Um, but they, they, they are there. Okay, so why uh, and why should you care about Arima? Um, there's a few uh, very compelling um, performance metrics that you may want to know about. Uh, for any discretionary trader or um, uh, uh, traditional trader or non-systematic trader, uh, we'll just call them the buy and hold, conservative buy and hold methodology. So obviously the blue line here represents uh, the typical uh, performance that you've gotten since 2010 and this is um, uh, on the uh, S&P, um, I believe. Uh, yeah, I think so. But this is from a, another a source um, and I'm building uh, some some models and, and some R scripts from this uh, um, same uh, strategy and model. But let, let, let me let me uh, get into that. So you have your blue line, uh, traditional buy and hold. Uh, but if you use the Arma, the same thing as Arima, you can see that the the the, the difference is 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 huge. Um, and that's uh, even even during the um, uh, I'll call it the Great Recession of 2008. Uh, Arima still grew. It grew a lot. Uh, let me just show you what I mean. So, okay, so this this guy started doing his measurements since 2001. Buy and hold, negative 13. Arm out was the wor performed worse, but it does get better as time persists. So uh, here you have negative 23% on the buy and hold for 2002. Uh, Arma did 7.14. Uh, this is where it gets really interesting. So you got 2008, um, where the the dip started to uh, take hold. Um, the uh, performance was negative 38 versus uh, for 2008, 196% on the ARMA. Um, obviously, you're, you're going to get some better years with a buy and hold. Uh, in this case, t 2009, 23.45% uh, return on the buy and hold, and then the ARMA only did 9.75. But when you think about and you compare it against um, one another, I, I, I would think. Uh, you, you would do much better alone this 2008 versus two, uh, uh, the performance of 2008 alone probably easily exceeds all the um, differences that buy and hold gives over the uh, ARMA. But nonetheless, if you take a look at the performance, it's consistently, except for uh, two, um, you can see the difference is, is, is mass. Some, 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 are, some is fairly massive. Um, in this case, obviously, 2002 during the recession, 2008, um, and and this this is where uh, we need to figure stuff out. Anyways, 2009. Uh, one instant takeaway I can see for this is that if you're trying to forecast uh, upcoming recessions, or we'll just call them calamities in the markets, obviously the buy and hold on the S&P for 2002 is pretty negative. But look. Arma protects that, so you're able to protect your uh, portfolio uh, against that and still get a return. Same thing in 2008. Um, the buy and hold overall was negative 38%, but why did the Arma still actually uh, return 100%? So that tells you that the forecasting is seeing things that we don't, uh, the average uh, traditional discretionary trader does not see. I'll even bet dollars to donuts people that aren't using Arma or Arima um, won't see these um, uh, negative uh, returns as they forecast them out. I mean, you, you can pretty well hand pick uh, how far in advance you want to forecast. Um, and obviously, the better the data you have, the uh, more accurate these uh, models become. Uh, and as I said, if you look at the data that I have, you can get up anywhere from uh, half a million uh, observations all the way up to eight million, um, and, and that's a huge, um, huge uh, 
uh, set of data to work from and, and hopefully that will give you some accuracy I can't I can't uh, vouch for this process yet I'm just showing the potential of it um, and one thing that you do need to understand is that the Arma Rima are expensive processes on on a computer system and at the same time as I build out these uh, models or strategies or what you want to call them in R um, I am looking at uh, paralyzing and um, trying to speed it up through a cluster um, and uh, see how that plays out um, and that's part of what I'm building so as in essence um, as we move forward with these uh, with these uh, postings um, if, if, if you look at uh, Arima as I said is, is really popular um, you know I've got so many uh, postings for Arima um, for instance uh, you know this this introductory video uh, on on Arima um, and, and, and just the, the different practical ways to learn it as well as um, some some code walkthroughs and all, all kinds of stuff and again you, you can see that in here in each posting I do give uh, our our uh, our scripts as well as uh, videos for each um, so it does get pretty advanced pretty in-depth um, but again you won't find this um, on on YouTube at all uh, this is for only for my members and uh, if you follow the links uh, obviously you'll be able to get uh, instant access to to these to to these uh, uh, videos and postings that I have that are only available as I said to my members Hopefully I'll help you out, um, and uh, again, this can also be applied to um, Garch. Uh, once I get through the uh, Arma Arima stuff, um, I'll be looking at uh, both moving averages and pairs trading uh, as well, and down the line I'll be looking at our arbitrage, you know, statistic arbitrage, as event arbitrage, the whole pile of stuff, but that's over coming months now. The thing is, as I said, as, as I'm building value, I'll be paper trading against my data, collecting the best quality data that you can get that's affordable for people as opposed to spending like literally thousands of dollars. Um, this is the best way to do it. Um, and what I'm trying to point out is, is that if uh, you're holding out to, to, to see how these models are built, the strategies are built, um, I wouldn't wait too long because uh, if as these prove, uh, profitable uh, we will be increasing the uh, rates uh, exponentially uh, one thing I need to also add if you go into um, into uh, let me just pull it up here um, a recent other thing that I need to show is is uh, we've got um, another posting on how to bridge uh, YouTube and uh, Java and R together uh, using the Interactive Brokers API um, and using this thing called R Color. I do have a video of that on the YouTube channel, so it is there uh, in, in YouTube on the Quantlabs channel. But um, with this methodology, I can easily integrate it into a fairly fast um, uh, platform uh, to, to, to send out my orders and uh, execution. Again, all open source, it's only R and Java that I'm using. Um, and uh, that's about it. Hopefully I'll help you out and uh, I'll talk to you soon and just say uh, we uh, this is our 200 video on YouTube.